David Modiciam is the Senior Legal Counsel of Bene Brith Canada who currently resides in Winnipeg, Manitoba. He has maintained a private practice in refugee, immigration, and human rights law since 1979, and has published various books and manuscripts. Criticizing impunity for human rights abuses, Modis stated, nothing emboldens a criminal so much as the knowledge he can get away with a crime. David Modis was born in Winnipeg, Manitoba, his grandparents were immigrants from Ukraine and Romania. He obtained a BA from the University of Manitoba in 1964, and a Master's of Arts from Princeton University in 1965. In 1967, he obtained a Bachelor of Arts from the University of Oxford, England, and in 1968 he obtained a Bachelor of Civil Law. In 1969, he became a Middle Temple United Kingdom barrister, and he joined the Bar of Manitoba in 1971. Mata served as a law clerk to the Chief Justice of Canada in 1968-69, and was a member of the Foreign Ownership Working Group, Government of Canada, and was Special Assistant to the Solicitor General of Canada in 1971-72. He served as a member of the Canadian Delegation to the United Nations General Assembly, the Task Force on Immigration Practices and Procedures, the Canadian Delegation to the United Nations Conference on an International Criminal Court 1998 the Canadian delegation to the Stockholm International Forum on the Holocaust, and from 1997 until 2003, the director of the International Centre for Human Rights and Democratic Development. On November 13, 2009, Modis was appointed to the board of this centre, also known as Rights and Democracy, which was headed by Professor Oral Braun. Shortly afterwards, a number of illicit actions by the staff of R&D and secret grants to radical organisations were exposed, and Modis joined Braun in initiating a major investigation. As a result of the investigations, funding was cut and in 2012, the government closed the rights and democracy framework. Modis has also taught constitutional law at McGill University, Introductory Economics, Canadian Economic Problems, International Law, Civil Liberties, and Immigration and Refugee Law, at the University of Manitoba. David Modis ran for the House of Commons of Canada in the 1979 and 1980 federal elections as a Liberal candidate in Winnipeg, Assiniboine district and came in second place both times. In 2009, Modis was a signatory to a letter opposing the appointment of Christine Chinkin to a UN Human Rights Council fact-finding mission. On the 2008-2009 Gaza War, alleging that Chinkin signed a prejudicial letter that indicated that. Without examining the evidence, she concluded that Israel was acting contrary to international law. Chinking did not resign, and endorsed the UN report, which was later denounced as biased and ill-informed by one of its authors, Judge Goldstone. The report's other authors stand by its content and criticized Goldstone's reversal of position on it. In his book Aftershock, Anti-Zionism and Antisemitism, Modis accused critics of Israel's post-1967 war policies regarding the West Bank of having double standards and not also criticizing China's occupation of Tibet. Nothing emboldens a criminal so much as the knowledge he can get away with a crime. That was the message the failure to prosecute for the Armenian massacre gave to the Nazis. We ignore the lesson of the Holocaust at our peril. Modis in 1989 he has been actively involved as Director of the International Defence and Aid Fund for South Africa in Canada, Director of Canada-South Africa Cooperation, Co-Chair Canadian Helsinki Watch Group, Director Manitoba Association of Rights and Liberties. Amnesty International, Bene Brith Canada, the Canadian Bar Association, the International Commission of Jurists, Canadian Jewish Congress, and Canadian Council for Refugees. He represented Lai Changsing in his extradition proceedings. He is also counsel for justice for Jews from Arab countries and is co-author of Jewish Refugees from Arab Countries, The Case for Rights and Redress. He presented various papers on the legal issue of prosecuting war criminals in Bangladesh. Organ harvesting of Falun Gong practitioners in China in 2006, with David Kilgore he released the Kilgore Modis Report, which stated the source of 41,500 transplants for the Six-year period 2000 to 2005 is unexplained and we believe that there has been and continues today to be large-scale organ seizures from unwilling Falun Gong practitioners. In 2009, they published an updated version of the report as a book. They visited about 50 countries to raise awareness of the situation. Later Mata stated, we estimate in the period between 2000 and 2005, there were 41,500 transplants which have no other explained source. In 2012, State Organs, Transplant Abuse in China, edited by Modis and Torstentre, 
was published with essays from Gabriel Danovich, Professor of Medicine. Arthur Kaplan, Professor of Bioethics, Jacob Levy, Cardiothoracic Surgeon, Ghazali Ahmad, Maria Fiaterwan Singh, Torsten Trey, Ethan Gutman, and Modis. Ethan Gutman interviewed over 100 witnesses and estimated that 65,000 Falun Gong practitioners were killed for their organs from 2000 to 2008. Modis is a member of the Canadian Bar Association. In 1977, following the election of the Separatist Party Quebecois government the previous year, he was asked to sit on the CBA Committee on the Constitution. The committee's mandate was to study and make recommendations on the Constitution of Canada. The members of the committee were drawn from each province of Canada, and included two future provincial premiers, a future Supreme Court of Canada Justice, two future provincial chief justices, and a future Canadian ambassador to the United Nations. The committee presented its report to the CBA at the next annual meeting, in 1978. The committee made wide-ranging recommendations for constitutional change, including a completely new constitution, abolishing the monarchy, changing the Senate, entrenching language rights and a bill of rights, and changing the balance of powers between the federal government and the provinces. Modis has also appeared in the documentaries Red Rain, The Bloody Harvest of China's Prisoners and Human Harvest. Modis is the recipient of numerous honors and awards including. Thanks for watching.